to kick off the baseball season, legendary Reds broadcaster Marty Brenneman is going to take his seat in the radio booth for his final opening day. And Local 12's Adam Clements sat down with Marty's better half. We're talking about his wife, mm -hmm. Amanda. This is a story you'll only see right here on Local 12. Well, as Marty Brenneman prepares to call his last opening day, his wife Amanda, kind enough to join us here. Also, Millie Brenneman, the family dog. Uh, we want to know, Amanda, how well you know your husband. Okay, we, I think pretty well. We assume you know him pretty well, but we went ahead and asked Marty a few questions, and we want to see if you can answer them the same way. So like the newlywed game? Like the newlywed game. Okay, we're hardly newlyweds, but... That's true. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Okay. Who is Marty's favorite red of all time? My favorite red of all time would be Pete Rose. Uh, Joe Morgan. It's either Pete or Joe. I, it was 50-50 there. You're 0 for 1. I know, gosh. Marty's favorite city to travel to? I'd have to say Chicago. I don't believe that's going to be what she thinks I, would, I should say. Which is my least favorite city, probably. Chicago. Family there. He likes the ballpark. He likes the guys there. Marty's favorite local restaurant? I'd say Montgomery Inn, and uh, I'd say Jeff Ruby's. I know both of them. The Montgomery Inn and Jeff Ruby's. Boom. You Nailed it. it. Okay, you do know him pretty well. I do. His favorite golf course. He gave us one local and he gave us one that's uh, not so local. My favorite golf course in this town is Makatiwa. Makatiwa local. I'd say probably my favorite is Monterey Peninsula. Well, Pebble Beach, Monterey Country Club. We'll count that. The I Monterey can... Peninsula. Okay, there yeah, you go. You got it. Marty's favorite ballpark. <laughs> she better get this right. My favorite ballpark to work in is Fenway Park in Boston. Well, you know, he likes the older ones. I think he's pretty partial and we never get to go there. I think he likes Fenway Park. What is Marty's favorite baseball movie? Hmm. The best baseball movie is Bull Durham. Probably not Bull Durham. Okay, Bull Durham. maybe it's Bull Durham. It's Bull Durham. Let's go with Bull Durham. It's Bull Durham. Excellent. Marty's biggest pet peeve. The biggest pet peeve I have is people who are not on time. Just like you guys. Where are they? What time is it? When are they going to be here? They're going to be five minutes, Marty. Five minutes, that's all. What would Marty say is the greatest call by an announcer of all time <laughs> in any sport? The best call ever in the history of sports was Al Michaels. The guy that he replaced... Do you believe in miracles? Al Michaels. Bingo. The Olympics. Look at you. Seriously? Yeah, that was his pick Al too? Yeah, Al Michaels, yeah. The Miracle on Ice. Okay, we got one more for you. Okay. What's the greatest signature call by a broadcaster? Mine. <laughs> and this one belongs to the Reds, because it's the greatest call, period. Right? And we hope to hear it a lot this year. Or like the 1990 World Series belongs to the Cincinnati Reds, or the 2019 World, World Series. Championship belongs to the Wouldn't Cincinnati Wouldn't that be Reds. amazing? Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, you are off the hot seat. Excellent. You too, Millie. Great. She knows her husband well. Wow. Tonight at 11, Adam has a one-on-one -on -one interview with Marty as he heads into his final season. Our coverage of opening day begins with our Good Morning Cincinnati team at 425 tomorrow morning. Bob Herzog, Sheila Gray, and Paul Poteet will be broadcasting live from Great American Ballpark. That will be a lot of fun mm -hmm. for them. And stay with Local 12 throughout the day for complete coverage of opening day. You can watch the 100th Finley Market Parade beginning at noon, followed by the Fox pregame show at 230, and then the Reds take the field at 4 o'clock. I'm still so impressed. I, I don't think my husband and I can do that. That's great. <laughs> oh, I think Tim knows yeah, you very well. We'll find out sometime. We'll